Ahoy, I'm Mirek from MarketUp Agency and today I'd like to introduce you Mark Cichoń, Australian marketer. We met first at Communication Summit where uh, Les Binet gave the speech and then we met at Brand Management where uh, Jenny Romaniuk from Edinburgh Bass Institute have a keynote. And, but I knew uh, Mark already from his series The Truth About Kids and Dogs where he talked about the relationship between clients and agencies and it showed that he is really big practitioner and insider. And uh, we agreed also that uh, he helped us, our agency, to deepen uh, uh, principles uh, about evidence-based marketing uh, to get roots in our work for clients. And also we agreed that uh, we will organize a two workshop for our clients and other senior marketers about law of growth. Uh, it means, you know, about how brands can grow. So I have opportunity to uh, have a, uh, interview today with Mark and I, I hope that it will be interesting for you. Mark, you grew up in Australia, so how did it happen that you have been living for 16 years in Czech Republic? Yeah, yeah, it's been 16 years already. Well, originally I was, um, I came to Prague to be the strategic planning uh, director at DDB, um, which I have had a lot of respect for, Bill Birnbeck and a very strong creative and strategic foundation. Uh, and I was promoted to managing director uh, which I ended up doing for seven years and then professionally I moved over to Mars where I also continued my career. So that was one thing that kept me here. Um, another one was a long-term relationship which happens often when <laughs> foreigners come to Prague. Czech beer and uh, honestly the love of the city. It just uh, 16 years later kept me here and uh, is still holding me on tight. Uh, you are enthusiastic uh, promoter of evidence-based marketing. So how did you get to that? Right, yeah, well, I mean, I was lucky enough, I think more by chance than anything else, to have uh, Byron Sharp, who is now the principal of Aaron Book Best, as my uh, university lecturer back in the yeah. 90s at the University of South Australia, yes. Um, but it wasn't really, honestly, until probably I joined Mars, who I consider to be probably the most uh, advanced organization in applying evidence-based marketing, where I really ruined the principles, the application of it, and, and for the first time, marketing made sense for me. So that's where my passion for the topic grew, and I've been continuing on that journey since then. So you have many years uh, experience in advertising industry in Czech Republic, Mark. So, uh, how do you evaluate uh, approach of uh, brands and companies in Czech market to advertising and marketing? Mm -hmm. Do they do it well? Well, if I speak from the perspective of application of evidence-based marketing principles, I, I have seen quite a significant step change in the last couple of years. Uh, I think a lot has got to do with the fact that they, a lot of marketers have been exposed more to the evidence based of Ehrenberg Bass. I think Les Binet has a huge influence. His, his work is also evidence based but it's more accessible, especially to agencies. People like Mark Ritson are very engaging and they bring in the laws of growth, evidence based marketing to much more many people. And I think marketers are becoming more um, understandable of how can use, they can use these principles. If I look at application of them, I think Mars, the Czech Republic and around the world is the company that is set the standard. They've been working with them for 12 years, both in understanding the principles, but also having a process methodology and cascading that into you know, everyday work. But I've also seen organizations such as Mondelez, L'Oreal, McDonald's do a great job in building strong, distinctive brands, focusing on occasions, reaching um, people, as many people in the category 
not giving them a reason not to say to, to buy, um, not to buy. And lastly, I would say the best, one of the best uh, examples of application of evidence-based marketing is Airbag. Um, I think they have done a brilliant job in creating a very distinct brand in using color coding their assets very well consistently between different channels above the line below the line they are very clear in their brand proposition and they are always looking uh, to give uh, a reason for the person in the category to consider airbag on a very consistent level for many years so yes i think they uh, we are seeing quite a significant um, understanding and implementation of evidence-based uh, principles in Czech Republic. And I hope to see much more. I see. In the previous years, you focus on the relationship between clients and agencies. Mm. What we can expect for development in the future in this area? The original uh, study of the truth about cats and dogs and the related workshop, um, coaching sessions, that was really more about teaching and sharing um, agencies, based on my own experience, uh, the perspective of the client. So to really understand what does it look like to be a brand manager or a marketing manager? What are the challenges they face? What does their day look like? Um, who do they need to influence? And then how an agency can surprise the client, deliver on expectations and, and become more of a collaborative, respected partner. So that was the first part. It's more about day-to-day -day, um, cooperation. The laws of growth and evidence-based marketing principles is more about how to become a business partner, which means how do we take the key principles and apply that in a communication context, but also how to use creativity, which is really the core principle, the core currency of, of agencies, to help and work with clients to find growth opportunities based on how consumers behave and how brands grow in the real world. So my focus is to really combine those two things together, how to become an excellent partner for agencies day to day, but also use the learnings um, of evidence-based marketing to ultimately become an excellent partner through the relationship and through helping um, clients achieve their growth ambitions and targets. What do you expect in your practice this year, Mark? What are your plans? The last few couple of years I've been focusing on um, preparing workshops and sharing the knowledge that Les Binet, Herbert Best, Byron Sharp discovered to really understand that perspective. What I've learned is that the biggest challenge both agencies like yourself um, and organizations, marketing departments face is how do you take the core principles and learnings and put them into practice? The, the two issues which exist is lack of time. We are too busy doing day-to-day -day work and lack of resource, which means we don't often have person dedicated to this task. So my goal has been to create, I would say, an evidence-based marketing methodology, methodology or a process where you can do three things. A very far, firstly understand the key principles in terms of knowledge in an accessible, fast way. Create a diagnostic that is based on metrics that look at all the different brand and growth levers, and then selecting what I call the big bets, your, your top strategies to help you deliver on, on those growth ambitions in a way which is done that can be efficient, doesn't take too much time, but still allows for a fire diagnostic and a fire selection of, of key strategies within an organization or within um, an agency. So that's my main focus. How do you take the knowledge and put it into daily practice? I notice that you play professionally guitar. Uh, do you perform publicly? Uh, where we can uh, hear you? So you know, Merrick, everybody needs to relax in their own way. We work in a highly stressful, demanding way. Some people play golf, some people go 
uh, mountain biking. Uh, I've always had a passion for music since I was a kid, I still do. Uh, so for me playing guitar, um, singing and, and performing is how I relax. So I've been doing, but I've been doing that for quite a number of years. Um, and right now I've taken some time off, so I'm not performing right now. Um, I do select shows, like I did, for example, a show for a fundraiser for the Australian bushfires. Nice. In an Australian pub. So, uh, and that was a great event. I really enjoyed it. I'm focusing more on writing original material, recording it, doing some production work. So hopefully, um, if they allow us to go back into pubs where there's more than 10 people, <laughs> um, then maybe I will try to find another performance and play some original materials. But I don't know when that's going to happen. It all depends on uh, what's going to happen in... Uh, may, may God allow us to go back to the pubs and, and, and start enjoying ourselves one more time. I think we're okay, no? I think it was brilliant. Really? Do you think they understood my Australian accent? Well, I understood, so I hope that everyone oh. understood. Okay. But you know, I don't really play professionally. I'm, really? Really, I'm, I'm okay, I'm not that great. Sometimes you need to play for me, you know. Mm. I never hear you playing on guitar and just I heard it. It's perfect, All right, so. hire me for your Christmas party. Yeah. Great idea. Yes. Done deal. Yes. Ciao. So. <laughs>